Hey, what's up everybody? In this lesson, I wanted to discuss five easy tips that you can use to bring your fireworks to life inside of On One Photo Raw. Let's dive in and take a look. My first tip for editing firework photos is to use a luminosity mask to target the fireworks within your image while protecting the rest of the areas within the scene. Oftentimes when we're editing the look of fireworks, we want to specifically modify the fireworks themselves. We may want to brighten them up or increase the color, all while avoiding the other areas within the image. So to do that, we can use a luminosity mask and it will specifically target those bright areas within our image, the fireworks, and it will avoid the darker regions that we don't want to adjust. So let's use a luminosity mask on this image here to brighten up the fireworks within our image and also give them a little bit more color using some saturation. So to do that, let's go into our local adjustments. I'm going to add a local adjustment and I'll just rename this fireworks. So what I want to do first is just create a luminosity mask so that I can target those bright fireworks within this photo. So we'll go into our properties here, go to the masking tab, and we're going to go down to this bottom section and we're going to enable a luminosity mask by clicking on this light bulb icon. Once I select that, it's going to create a mask that targets the bright areas within our image while protecting the darker areas. So let's view the mask here. And remember in masking, white reveals and black conceals. And we can see that the white within this mask is covering those bright areas over the fireworks. So that means whatever we do with our local adjustment, it's going to strictly modify those specific areas. This is a great way to, again, increase the exposure or increase the color of the fireworks within your image. So let's go back here and I'll just reset the exposure here so that the local adjustment isn't actually doing, doing anything just yet. And then I'll just head down here to my midtones and I can pull up on my midtones to brighten those fireworks up. I can add more saturation as needed to give them a little bit more color. And you can see whatever I do with this local adjustment, it's modifying those brighter areas within the image and it's avoiding the dark regions surrounding them. This is a really great way to, again, just target the fireworks while avoiding the other areas within your photo. So if I turn off this fireworks adjustment and I turn it back on, it's doing a great job of just modifying those bright fireworks within our sky and a little bit in the water while avoiding the other areas surrounding them. My next tip for editing firework photos is to use a color range mask to target a specific color within your scene. This works really great if you have a varied palette of colors within those fireworks and you want to target one specific color to either brighten it or increase the color saturation of it. So let's say with in this photograph, we want to target this blue color within our sky. So let's go into our local adjustments here. I'm going to add an adjustment and we're going to go into our masking tab here and we're going to head down to this color range option. We're just going to click to enable that and by default it's going to target this specific color there. But we can always change that to any color that's in our photo. So there's a couple of different ways that you can change the color. The first way is to just grab this color dropper option here. You can click that and then you can hover over a specific color that you want to modify. We want to modify this blue color. So let's just click on an area of blue color there. So now if we view the mask, I'll just zoom out. If we view the mask here, it's targeting a lot of the image, but that's not a big deal. What we need to do to adjust that is we just need to pull back on this color range slider here to target more of that specific color range. So now if we just view the photo here, let's go to our local adjustment. We'll reset that exposure so that it's not darkening the colors there. And watch as I pull up on the exposure. We're just brightening up that blue section there. 
I like to use my midtones a lot of the time when I'm modifying the brightness of specific colors within my image. You can see by pulling up and down on my midtones, we're just targeting that blue color within the sky there. And if we increase the saturation, we're just increasing and modifying the blues within the scene. Another way you can modify the color is by going back into that color range section. And what I'd like to do is enable the mask view so that I can see the mask and then open up your colors dialog here. And then you can play around with the color to target that specific region within your photo. So play around with the color range mask. Remember, there's a couple of different ways to target specific colors. The first being that color dropper, just drop it on an area of color that you want to modify. And then the other way is to select this rectangle with the color inside of it. And then you can use your colors dialog to choose a specific color that way. But you can see it's a really awesome way to target a specific region of fireworks within your image. My next tip for editing firework photos is to target specific regions within your image using either a luminosity mask or a color range mask. So you can use a luminosity mask to target the brighter regions within your scene, but you can also place that specific mask into a specific area if you wanted to. And same thing with a color range mask. So let me show that real quick here. Let's just go into our local adjustments. I'll add another adjustment or add a local adjustment, and we'll just name this Luminosity Mask. I'm going to reset that exposure there, and I'll just pull up on the midtones and the saturation. So let's just first use a Luminosity Mask to target the brighter regions within our image. I'll go into my Masking tab here in the Properties dialog, and we'll choose Luminosity Mask. You can see already. It's doing a great job of just brightening up those brighter areas within the image. But let's say, for example, we don't want that applied to the bottom reflection. If we view the mask here, remember white reveals and black conceals, we're revealing this mask onto the bottom section as well as the top section. So there's a couple of different ways that we can remove this luminosity mask from the bottom section of our photo. One of the easiest ways is to use your masking brush. You can grab your masking brush by hitting B on your keyboard. I'm just going to set this to erase so that I can erase this from the bottom section. I'm going to use the right bracket key on my keyboard to increase the brush size. The left bracket key will decrease the brush size. And I'm just going to paint this away from that bottom section there. So now if I view the photograph and I disable the local adjustment. Now it's only being applied to that top section of the photo. So let's just view the mask again and we'll just reset the mask and then we'll create a luminosity mask again. And another way that you can remove that luminosity mask from specific areas is by using your masking bug. You can use your masking bug to create gradient masks and radial masks. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit M on our keyboard. That'll grab me my masking bug, which you can also grab by going over to your masking tools. And it lives right up top here next to the masking brush. So the first option here to remove this from the bottom section would be to use a gradient shape. We can just drop this down. We can use this smaller handle to rotate. We can use this larger handle to move this around and we can modify the feathering with the perforated edges there. So if we view this photo, turn this off and on again, you can see it's just modifying that top section. Now, another way we can target 
a specific region within our image using a luminosity mask is to use a radial shape within that masking bug. So we used a gradient for this specific example, but let's go back up to our masking bug top to a modifier bar here, and we're gonna go into the shape menu and choose edges. With edges, this is going to create a radial shape, and within the center is where that mask is going to be applied to. So let's just view the mask here. And I can use this larger handle to move the shape around. I can use this smaller handle to rotate. I can modify the shape with these handles on the edges and I can modify the size with this solid line. And then of course, the feathering is going to be adjusted with the perforated line there. So let's just place this up top here, strictly around the fireworks in the top section of our photo. So now if we turn that adjustment off and on, It's just modifying that top section there. And watch as I pull this down to the foreground. Now the top section is protected and the mask is only modifying the reflection. And so this is a great way to target a specific section in your image with either a luminosity mask or a color range mask. So let me just reset this mask here and we'll create a color range mask as well. So let's just choose color range here. Remember by default, it's going to target that specific color there. But let's say we want a specific region to be modified with a color range mask rather than this entire image. So we can use our masking bug again and let's go up and make sure we have the edges option enabled. And if I drop this down here, it's actually going to target the color range that this larger handle is over. So if I view my mask here, the color range mask that's being enabled right now is for this color that's underneath this larger handle. So if I move this around, it adjusts the specific color that it's targeting. So if I view this photo here and we just want to modify this color there, we can just move the color range mask over to that specific color. So if I view this here, it's just targeting that specific color within the photograph and then we can modify where that's placed by adjusting the size of our radial mask. So if we view the photograph here and we turn this adjustment off and on, we can see it's targeting that specific color within our image, but only in that bottom foreground section. And you can, of course, modify the color range slider to fine tune which colors you are adjusting. Now you can also do the same thing with a gradient shape. So if we go to gradient here, if we move this around, you can see whatever color is underneath this larger handle here, that's the color that's being modified by this gradient mask. And so whenever you are modifying a luminosity mask or you're modifying a color range mask, just know that you can place those masks into specific areas using your masking bug.
My next tip for editing firework photos is to use contrast to remove smoke from around your fireworks. So within this photograph here, you can see we have quite a bit of smoke going on within our scene. Well, we can help remove some of that smoke by just going into our develop tab and we can pull up on the contrast. So this is a great way to remove some of that smoky look from within your fireworks scene. And you can always use a local adjustment to do that as well. So we'll add a new adjustment here. I'll just reset this exposure there. I'll increase the contrast. And then I can brush this into some of the areas that I want to clean up a little bit from that smokiness. My last tip for editing fireworks is a little bit more on the creative side, but it's a fun way to add fireworks into a scene that you may want to make a little bit more lively. So let's say we want to add in some fireworks into the sky in this right section of the cityscape here. Well, we'll go into our layers pane here. We're gonna use this plus icon to add in another layer and we'll just grab another firework photo here. We'll grab this image there. I'll just add that as a layer. I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard to grab my transform tool and I'm just gonna place this into the top section of my image. Now, because we have a black background behind our fireworks, we can go into our blending options for that layer. Then we'll just go down to lighten and we can easily get rid of the black background there. Now there's this little street lamp there at the bottom. So I'm just gonna hit B on my keyboard to grab my masking brush. And I'm just gonna brush that away there. But with just that new layer with some more fireworks, we've already added in a lot of extra interest into that top section. And of course, inside of On One Photo Raw, we can modify the look of each individual layer. So if these fireworks to the left are a little bit more bright. We can brighten up the fireworks that we've added into the scene there to match the look of the original photo. So those are my five tips for editing firework photos. Hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.